just chaos, you know? Well, hello, I'm Erica, and I am Maude, and I <laughs> am Fraz. We are going to the Maya Hawk concert today, me and my friend. If you're wondering why I'm in a hurry, it's because we're leaving kind of as early as possible to get to this concert so that we can make sure we have our parking because like Dad and I, when we went to the Burt Kreischer show, we got parking and then they were like, well, you know, this is already full. I'm like, we prepaid for a spot. And she's like, yeah, but people got here before you and took the spot. So I'm like, that's not, <laughs> That's not how reserving a spot works, lady, but apparently it does in the Illinois Chicago area, is it, you know? I wasn't shocked, I was just like, yeah, sounds about right for Chicago, but. So we are leaving as early as possible to ensure that we have our parking and to beat traffic because it's Friday. The rush hour is no joke on Friday, especially on weekends, just like in general. Does that work? Yeah, that works, whatever. It's fine, sorry, I'm just protecting my mic. It's completely humid today. It's gonna rain the whole time that we're there, but we're indoors, so it's fine. The only reason I'm straightening my hair is because I don't have time to do anything else with it. With curling it, it just takes so long. I think it's because you have to hold it there. And I have a lot of hair, I have thick hair, so when you curl it, it's a lot of sections. But with straightening my hair, as you can see, it goes really fast, because you don't have to hold it there. And if you have a really good heat protectant, because I actually have people ask me a lot, they're like, how long does it take to like straighten your hair when it's like thick and wavy and all this stuff? It generally takes me no time, because I have a really good heat protectant and it like somehow helps the iron perform better. Everybody's like, that's a hoax, it's not. But I'm so excited to see her in concert. Being a fan of Stranger Things and obviously like a fan of her mother. I think it'll be like really cool. I haven't really followed her music much. My friend definitely follows her music more than I do, but I'm excited to go to the show. That's the thing about me is like, I can go to pretty much any concert and have a good time. Like even Country Thunder. I've been to Country Thunder twice. Once was to see Leonard Skinner. I danced on their speaker in the back, it was so fun. And I was like 10. And then I went and saw Taylor Swift during her Fearless tour back in the day when I was in high school. So like I said, I can go to kind of any venue as long as like I relatively like the music, we'll be good. <laughs> okay, I need to pick out my outfit and like and hurry. Welcome to the chaos vlog. Okay, so this is the outfit, I think. I feel like I need a belt. I'm probably gonna put a belt on. I've had this top forever and I've never really worn it. So I feel like this concert's kind of like perfect. Right now it's like 74, but in the next couple hours, it's gonna drop to, I can pin this to my shirt. What am I doing? It's gonna drop to 60 or 58 by the time we get out of the concert. So I'm thinking this jacket, cause here's the thing. These pants are my ones that are like ripped to shreds and I love them. I have them in black too. They're just so comfortable. But then the back is like a total vibe with it. She's gonna be here any minute, so let's get going. <laughs> and we're so excited to be here for tonight singing some songs. We got a couple more left. Um, it's a total honor to be opening for Connor, and um, yeah! thanks for coming. Yeah! 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 for my uh, number one favorite move. If you don't know if somebody likes you and you like them, is if you just like kind of uncomfortably, or no, like, like like it was an accident, like not that it's accidental arm over the shoulder, just like an accidental shoulder to shoulder. Like, like I'll show you. <laughs> and then if they move away, like a normal person, they don't like you. And if they hold, if they stay still, they might like you. That's my move. It's a oh, um, trademark. It's gone. Who's outside my? So mother, okay, yeah, they're here for some kind of like event at my neighbor's anyways. So it is actually a day after the concert. When I got home from the concert, it was super late and I had work the next day. So I was just exhausted and decided to end that part of the vlog in Chicago. But I do want to talk a little bit about the concert before I sign off here. Maya did amazing. She is so talented. Her voice is so beautiful and her music is so calm and just like so beautifully written. And when she performs, it's very like intimate, I guess. It's not like 
like these huge concerts, which I love going to these huge concerts where it's this huge performance and it tells a story and it's amazing. But with her, it's more of like just connecting with the crowd. And so I also love going to those types of concerts where you just really like connect with the artist as a crowd. And what's actually wild to me is how much she looks like her mom. Like I've been a huge fan of Uma Thurman quite literally my entire life. And what's so funny is when I watch Stranger Things, I had no idea that Maya Hawk was Uma Thurman's daughter. I just didn't know, like no one had ever really told me. I texted my friend that I went with, I was like, did you know that Maya Hawk is Uma Thurman's daughter? She's like, yeah, I did. And a few days later, she was like, she's having a concert. Do you want to go? I was like, absolutely. And again, she just puts on like a really wonderful show. Now that I know that Uma's her mom, I looked at her and I was like, oh no, you, you do look just like your mom. Like, how did I not see that? I was sitting there going, how did I not see this? How did I miss this? <laughs> Like, it was so funny, but we ended up staying for only like half of Bright Eyes set and then we decided to beat the traffic and head home because we were really there for Maya. Like, Bright Eyes was good, but Maya was better and that's who we were there for, so. And then on our way, we saw those fireworks. Like, they just started randomly going off. It wasn't like at the concert hall, it was just in like a very weird part of Chicago. So I was like, all right, well, they're pretty, but we gotta go, so. <laughs> because I know Maya Hawk only performs very sporadically. Try and look up her tour dates and see if she's gonna be near you. I know that her tour dates for this tour, she only had like, four of them and they were all in the Midwest, but I'm sure these won't be her last tour dates ever. So keep up with her stuff and you'll find out when she goes on tour next. But that is it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please be sure to like and subscribe down below and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.